Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today we have another remarkable story for you. Today's book is called I Love My Teacher's Gods, written by Dr. Paul McNamara, illustrated by Mike Beston. Now, this remarkable story is about a sweet little girl and a science experiment gone wrong. Now, let's see what happens. Let's get started. In a rather ordinary and boring school, something extraordinary was about to happen. Sally and the rest of the class watched as Mrs. Trump prepared a special chemistry lesson. Children, said Mrs. Trump, when the special chemicals are mixed together, they will cause a memorable explosion. Stand back, everyone. A lot of heat and energy is going to be released. So Sally sneaked to the side of the room to get a better view. And with a mix of green and a hue of blue, the bubbling liquid grew and grew. And the potion started to fizz and then sizzle. And then, kaboom! An explosion filled the whole room with gas and smoke and most of the class died for cover under their desk. But Sally was propelled through the air like a rocket. And as she tumbled through the smoke, she started to feel hot. She began to fizzle and crackle until flash. She shrunk to the size of a microscopic particle and shot towards a teacher's face. Sally went straight into Mrs. Trump's nose, flying through some of her nose hairs, and she got stuck in a web of thick green snot. Yuck, said Sally. Teacher snot. Sally tried to climb out of Mrs. Trump's nostril, but the snot blocked her exit. It's no good. I'm going to have to travel through Mrs. Trump, <laughs> thought Sally. And with a hop, skip and a jump, she slid into Mrs. Trump's esophagus, the tube, that moves food from Mrs. Trump's mouth to her stomach. And from there, she plummeted downwards until splash. The stomach is where Mrs. Trump digests her food, thought Sally. I can't hang around in this acid for long or I'll be liquefied. <laughs> Floating in the green, goggly liquid was Mrs. Trump's breakfast. A cheerio ring? Perfect, thought Sally. And then she climbed on and rode the waves towards the beginning of the small intestine. Now Sally saw the acid sea along the winding seven meter long tube that was breaking down Mrs. Trump's food into vitamins, minerals, and proteins. All these elements would help her body cells grow and stay healthy. And up ahead were millions of tiny structures swaying in Mrs. Trump's intestine like blades of seaweed in the ocean. I know what these are. They're called villi, said Sally. Now the tiny villi tickled Sally and transported her from Mrs. Trump's intestines into her blood vessels. Huh, that was a tight squeeze, thought Sally. Now once inside the blood vessel, 
She had to dodge hundreds of red and white blood cells that were whooshing past her at great speed. That just means taking my head off, screamed Sally, patting herself down to check if she was still in one piece. Now, Mrs. Trump's red blood cells carry oxygen around the body, while her white blood cells are part of her immune system and help to fight germs called viruses and bacteria. The white cells started to surround Sally. Ah, I'm on the attack, she thought. Now, Mrs. Trump's body was treating Sally like an unwelcome guest. I'm not meant to be here, said Sally. Mrs. Trump's body thinks I'm the coronavirus. I have to get out of here. Ah, they're going to swallow me all, said Sally as a white cell tried to munch a shoe. Take that, you menace! Sally yelled as she broke free. I need to get out of here! And she grabbed onto a passing red cell and clung on for dear life. Whoa! This is better than my favorite fun flare film, said Sally, as she sped through Mrs. Strom's bloodstream. What is that swooshing noise? She wondered. I'm headed for Mrs. Strom's liver. The liver is the largest organ in Mrs. Strom's body, and it works like a busy factory processing the nutrients in her blood and filtering any waste. I feel all shiny and new, thought Sally as she left Mrs. Trump's liver. Now with a newfound energy and determination to escape, she raced towards Mrs. Trump's heart. Does grumpy old Mrs. Trump have a heart? Thought Sally. <laughs> it's probably made of stone. Only one way to find out, she said, as she sped on. And as she got closer, she could hear the unmistakably sounds of hot bulbs opening and closing. Mrs. Trump's heart acts like a magnificent muscular pump that sends blood all around her body and delivers oxygen to her cells. She does have a heart after all, thought Sally. Now Sally shot through the chambers of Mrs. Trump's heart and into her lungs. This is where breathing takes place. Mrs. Trump's lungs look like big pink tree branches with bunches of grapes on them. And Sally grabbed hold of a newly oxygenated red cell, which took her right through the lungs. Now next up would be Mrs. Trump's guts. The colon is where Mrs. Trump makes her poo, and the waste she makes is ejected from her body. And in Mrs. Trump's dark, cavernous colon, Sally was overcome by stifling stench. Ew! What is that disgusting smell? Said Sally, pinching her nose. Yuck! Teacher Pooh! 
and Sally leapt up and over the smelly excrement. Suddenly, she heard a rumble. The column began to wiggle, making Sally do a little jig. And without warning, there was a gigantic goggle and Trump. I wish Mrs. Trump hadn't eaten beans for lunch, said Sally. You know what they say, beans, beans good for your heart, but the more you eat, the more you fart. And Sally shot out of Mrs. Trump's butt and immediately started to fizzle and crackle and grow back to a normal size. Sally wiped herself down and said, This one science lesson? I won't forget in a hurry. Wow. Now, boys and girls, could you find your way around the human body? Sally went on an amazing journey through Mrs. Trump's body. It was a bit scary, but very exciting. And she learned so much about all the different parts, what they do and how they work together. But can you identify all the main parts of the body in the diagram? Now try covering this left hand page. And then let's see if you can name all the parts. No cheating. So we know the top part is the brain. Now let's go to the bottom part. What do you see? What do you think this is? Try to figure it out. There you go. We have the brain. And then we have the lungs. The heart is right in the middle of your chest. And then the liver right below the heart. And your stomach. Then we have your kidneys, one on the left side and another on the right side. And then your large intestine, your small intestine, and then your bladder. Wow, what a remarkable, remarkable story. Thank you so much for joining us for this amazing story. We thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.